Hello, all you do-it-yourselfers. I'm Dylan. This is Dylan's DIY Workshop, and today I'm going to teach you how to wood burn with color. So if you're like me, you've made a few wood burnings, and I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you already know how to wood burn. If you don't know how to wood burn, there will be a card right here. Go ahead and click on that. It'll take you to my wood burning playlist. It's a bunch of beginner videos on how to get started in wood burning and the best ways to do it. Once you're beyond that and you know how to wood burn and you want to have a little bit more, well, you can add color to wood burnings. Yes, you can add color. This one is a wood burning that I've had for quite a while. I did it a long time ago. I think I actually made a YouTube video about it. If I did, I'll put a card here. If I didn't, you won't see a card there. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to add color to this one. So get your wood burning all done up like this, and don't shade too much, kind of leave it outlined. Just use the wood burning as an outline, and that'll allow you to color in the open spaces. Now, you ask me, what on earth could I color wood with? Well, think of it like paper. You could color it with just about anything. My favorite way to do it is with pencil crayon. That's the way I'm going to show you guys how to do it today. Now there are many other ways using paints and I've seen people do it with food coloring. I haven't tested that myself, but I will eventually. You could even use crayons. So anything that you can really make color with on paper, you can pretty well color wood with. Let me go ahead and grab some pencil crayons. Okay, I've got these colors right here. They're pretty well Spiro's colors, to be honest. You got the purple and orange. Give me a sec while I take the thumbnail for this video. That's part of the thumbnail. Like I said, it's pretty well as easy as coloring on paper. I'm just gonna show you right now. You wanna make sure that your pencil crayons are pretty sharp, not like this one. I'm going to sharpen this. So you wanna go ahead and take the wood burning like that, like a piece of paper, I guess you could say, and that's it. Just color lightly because you don't know, you want to know what it looks like first before you go ahead and color dark. If it's too dark, it is kind of hard to erase off of this, especially considering it's pencil crayon. So go light and then get darker as you need to. So color the whole thing and then if you need to make it darker, make it darker. Also a good idea to go ahead and go on the back of this and test out your colors first. If you don't like, say, that purple right there, you could try out this purple right here. So kind of make yourself just like a little color chart. Just testing it out. Because you, you want to make sure that it's the right color when you go to put it on here because you kind of only have one chance. You could scrape it off, and I've done that before. Like a razor blade, like I explained in my how to erase a wood burning video. But you might not want to do that because you'd end up scraping off your wood burning and you got to go back to the wood burner and start again. And I wouldn't suggest wood burning over pencil crayon or any other color medium because you don't want to breathe any of that in. Just make sure that the wood burning part of this is all completely done before you go ahead and add color to it because you can't really go back and wood burn over a color or like any kind of medium that would put color on here. It just wouldn't be safe. I'm gonna go ahead and add color to the rest of this now. Coloring it in, you saw a couple clips of me doing that. I ended up using all of these colors, and we ended up with this. Now, honestly, I don't really like the color scheme. I think if I had had like a more advanced set of pencil crayons and I had, you know, even more colors, this would have looked better. But that's why I said you need to color on the back because you need to know what the color is going to look like because it does look much different on wood than it does on the side of the pencil crayon and that it does on paper. I still ended up being able to make this look fairly close to what Spyro looks like. If you want to make your wood burning that much cooler, go ahead and add color to it. And all you need is some pencil crayons. You probably have a box of them sitting somewhere in your house. Just go ahead and try it. Even if you have to just do a random wood burning on a piece of wood somewhere and then try to color it, it's worth a try because this opens up so many possibilities to what you can actually do. It's like learning how to use a new tool 
and then all of a sudden, oh, I could just do that. And then you'll end up using it a whole bunch. It's exactly like getting a new tool because it's a new thing that you can do. So your mind will just find ways for you to be able to do it now that you know how to do it. See right here how there's like a little bit of purple sticking out? You can go ahead and use a box cutter blade like this. I like these ones the best, not the snap away ones because the snap away ones can snap away and go flying. This one's pretty well one piece. And you could just go ahead and touch up the edges by just scraping it a bit. And like I said, that's a technique that I taught you guys how to do in my how to erase wood burnings video, which will be in the description of this video as a link. You could just go ahead and scrape that off and you'll have very nice, very sharp edges. All right, thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more projects like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button because it'll give you front row seats to all of my videos. All right, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> hey, who knew? This guitar that I made doesn't have a truss rod. It doesn't have a truss rod. It doesn't have a truss rod. What? You made a guitar without a truss rod?